Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this morning I'll be updating on the very cold temperatures we saw last night with the possibility of some more cold temperatures over uh, the next couple of days plus some decent snowfall potentially coming into more western areas, southwestern areas and parts of Ireland as well. Do remember though if you do enjoy my videos make sure you do subscribe and like as it does really help me out. Now, as you currently see I'm on the Met Office Twitter page and I said last night that there was a potential that some areas could drop to below minus 20 degrees over parts of Scotland. Now, Brymar, which is a commonly known cold spot in Scotland, has fallen to minus 22.9 degrees, which is making it the coldest night since 1995. Last night I said it potential could break the uh, there was potential for it to break 2010 from the December to remember, um, but it actually got all the way back to 1995, which is uh, exceptionally cold temperatures. And it just shows you, some people are saying, oh, this is not a particularly exceptionally cold patch. And yes, some people have done, it's been a little bit disappointing in certain regions for snowfall. Some parts of East areas would say it's some of the best snow they've had in years. Well, others would say, well, we had more snow back in early January or late December. But it, you can't, you can undoubtedly say how cold it has been. It has been bitterly cold, and the minus 22.9 just shows you um, how cold the air mass has been. Over the next couple of days, it's unlikely to reach that cold, um, simply because the air mass and the upper air temperatures are warming up slightly. Uh, it's been about minus 12, minus 13 degrees, 850 HPN. It's going to be going down to maybe minus 8, minus 9 as weather fronts move in off the Atlantic. So that's likely it's not going to reach maybe minus 23 degrees like it did last night. But again, the southern areas um, could still reach maybe minus 5, minus 6 and quite widely again, maybe down to minus 10 degrees over the upcoming nights. Now, if we have a look at the uh, current temperatures, you can see you can see still very cold over towards Scotland, still getting down to minus 15 degrees potentially there uh, at around 10 a.m. Now, it was a lot cold overnight quite widely. Again, you can see where those cold hotspots were, um, and it was fairly widespread over Scotland. Even Edinburgh, Glasgow got down to around minus, uh, minus 10 to minus 15. Northern England, again, got down to maybe minus 10, minus 15. Further south and eastwards, it didn't get quite as cold as we expected, simply because the Thames Estuary did power up overnight, and it did deliver a few snow showers, quite potent snow showers. Parts of southeast Kent saw quite a lot of snow, a few centimetres there, where I'm in the north of London. We actually saw a dusting overnight, um, which did limit uh, the snow, uh, sorry, the limit the temperatures uh, getting too cold, simply because of the cloud cover. However, some areas towards East Anglia did get down to sort of minus 8, minus 9, where they didn't see the showers and elsewhere got quite cold as well. So, yeah, uh, it could get a bit colder tonight in southern areas, but further northern uh, areas still very cold tonight, but um, probably won't be as cold as last night, given the upper airs are uh, warming up a little bit. As you can see in the western, southwestern areas, over towards Ireland, Northern Ireland, parts of southwest England, it is starting to warm up a little bit. Still below freezing in many areas and still around freezing, but it's starting to just edge up in the temperatures. Um, and we will be seeing some snow and some rain in those areas today. As you can see, this is the weather fronts moving in. It, these are going to very quickly diminish as they reach western areas. But, uh, sorry, as they move further eastwards. But western areas could do decent from these snow uh, from these uh, snowy weather fronts. At the moment you can see snow quite widely in southern Ireland and parts of eastern and western Ireland as well. At the moment these are actually forecast to turn to rain but you can see the temperatures are a little bit lower than initially thought by the weather model so it's falling as snow on the northern edge quite widely but I suspect it will turn to rain. You can see for parts of southwestern Ireland it is already turning back to rain and confined mainly over towards the hills. Um, Towards southwestern areas, it's starting off as an issue of snow, and you can see where that um, sort of snow line is. Um, but uh, at the moment, it is looking like snow could be quite widely over higher ground and inland areas, but towards the coast, it might just be rain. So, southwestern areas, parts of Wales as well, could be doing quite well from this weather front. But it is looking like as soon as it gets towards sort of northern Ireland and towards, of, uh, towards um, eastern parts of Wales, Southern England, it does look like it will very quickly peter out as it gets blocked out by the higher pressure. So it is looking like that it will be diminishing quite quickly, but where it does uh, snow, it could 
produce a few centimeters here or there and we do have weather warnings in force and we'll look at those in a minute so yeah could be interesting conditions for some western areas i wouldn't say it's going to be uh, an actually deluge of snow but where we do see some of these heavier bands before they do diminish you could see a good few centimeters here or there further eastwards it does look like the snow showers will be very much confined to coastal areas and at the moment there's hardly any showers about at all simply because the wind is being cut off um, and higher pressure is sinking further southwards so we're not seeing as many showers still could be some showers in northeastern areas and there are weather warnings out for that still a lot of snow covered down in east anglia and i doubt a lot of it will melt today the sun will melt a little bit throughout the day but currently where i am we have got cloud cover and there's still a few light flurries around which are not going to show up on radar but yeah, it should gradually, uh, slowly melt throughout the day, but I suspect where areas have got deeper snowfall and not too much cloud, it will be a very cold day, not getting above freezing, um, and we'll likely still have some snow cover into tonight. Um, quite widely, again, a very, very cold day. Finally, we'll have a look at the weather warnings. As you can see, snow and ice warning for southwestern areas, and you can see where the Met Office expects the snow and ice um, to get to its sort of eastern extent. Again, it could get a bit further eastwards than this, um, but probably won't have significant impacts. Um, you can see there is a snow and ice warning in force for southeastern areas, but that's very much because um, uh, but because of the snow showers earlier this morning, and this expires in an hour or so. Still got snow warnings. There's no nice water towards northeastern areas, parts of Scotland, northeast England. That very much is to do with some showers that are potentially going to come overnight tonight and into this afternoon. You, uh, there's not many showers around at the moment. Again, it's just really a precautionary measure if the winds do get up and we see perhaps a conversion zone here or there. So, yeah, impacts are going to be dying down over the next couple of days and towards Friday. Similar ice and snow warnings, and then Saturday there's another snow warning for potentially a more active weather front getting further eastwards into the country, potentially providing some more significant snowfall for western areas and Northern Ireland as well. So we'll update that probably later this evening, uh, and we'll look at some more mid-range models uh, and looking at some precipitation charts as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to you, and I'll see you again probably for another update this afternoon or this evening.